Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are once again building something from the world of Skyrim. I've had a lot of people requesting that I keep making Skyrim, Fallout, that type of stuff. Um, so here's another build for you. Today we are gonna build something that stays in your inventory until you collect all 24. No, they are not Pokemon. That was, that was last week. We are talking about the Stones of Berenzia. In the game, you collect these things, and eventually it gets you some prize at the end. Um, I've yet to, in the many years I've played Skyrim, collect all of them. So today we are going to build the Stone of Berenzia from foam. Let's get to building. Template. Alright, let's get started. Print out the template from the description, cut out the parts and trace them onto your materials. Several of these pieces you're going to have to repeat. They're marked very clearly on each individual part how many you will need. Assembling the base is pretty simple. Make sure that you label each part because B and C are very close in size. I also kept the base template visible so that I knew which letter goes where, uh, just so I didn't get confused. The top assembly took a while to figure out all the angles. I added registration marks just so that you wouldn't get confused as to how they lined up so that the parts don't get turned the wrong way. The game images have some trim around the entire build. Um, I cut out half inch strips of two millimeter EVA and covered the inside and outside cutting as I went. This also allowed me to hide all the seams and make it stronger ultimately.
I used my wood burner to cut a V groove into the middle of the gem parts. You could use an X-Acto knife, it was just easier for me. It is symmetrical, so you need four exact copies of this part. The long edges need an angle cut greater than 45, so maybe 50 or 60, so that it'll line up properly. I actually had to use a Dremel to level them out. I added a 10 millimeter piece on the top to make a bottom edge. Basically all I did was took the bottom assembly, traced it on a foam and cut it out, and then added a inside cut about a half inch off of that line so that it was an exact fit to the bottom edge. This is the only way that you can ensure if you wanted to hinge it that it would be a perfect match. Small parts like this, I use super glue. Super glue does harden EVA, so parts that need to be flexible, you should use contact cement, but for this, it's not something that's gonna get moved around. The inside pad, I just took a stone bit on my Dremel and added some lines to mimic the games. Basically, it's a divot that the jewel would sit in if it wasn't magically floating above the case. I use black Plasti Dip on the box and the pad and white Plasti Dip on the jewel. Because I painted it white, it takes less coats of spray paint to get the full coverage. Anytime I have a light object, I try and use white Plasti Dip as a base. Then I just used some acrylic wax paint similar to Rub and Buff and used a dry brush technique to make it look like aged metal. I ended up using a mixture of gold and copper. The pad is just uh, shades of brown.
Last step is just assembly. This is where you get to put everything together. Hooray! Uh, you just glue in the pad down to the box. I use some thin jewelry wire to suspend the stone from underneath. We are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, very pleased with how it turned out. Um, not too bad. It does appear to hover as long as you're on the right side of it. If you get to the side, you can see the wire sticking out. Um, there's probably a better way to do that, but this is by far the simplest. Maybe you will try and make one of these stones of Berenzia yourself and impress your friends with your lack of ability to commit to collecting one of the quest items and just do whatever you want instead. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them much props. I'm going to get a closer look at it. Maybe I'll even close you in the box with it.